This is our Comac CNC CN3.1V program set up. We show the screen. All the manual operated buttons are around the outside. And through our CNC, the first thing you want to do is with your profile, your material, is go through a profile definition setup where you teach the machine the material you are going to use. You got your pinch positions, you got your bending axis. These are the two steps where you actually go through teaching the machine, and then you got your radius, the actual ultimate radius you want to achieve. We're going to go ahead and open up our profile, inch and a half square tubing. Now, this one we set up our pinch position, that's where the material sits idle. We got our two bends where we taught the machine, and we got our final radius that we want to achieve. And then we got three more steps over here on the side, which helps us perfect the machine's learning ability, help us get even closer. Now we're going to go to our main menu. We're going to go to our programming. Now we got position chart and elements mode. Now in elements, this is where you create by shape. You can create with these are the four different ways to create each line in each step with the material with what you need to do. Now we got positions chart. This shows the actual position of the machine. It's got your target positions for each bending roll, the speed, and the target rotation. It's now we're going to go back to elements. Now we're going to go ahead and open our program, our test 31915, all right, and this is with our inch and a half square tubing profile, and it shows our pinch position transports over from the profile definition setup, and these two steps right here, the offset and the retract, happen before step one. This is the pr pr preparation to where the machine knows where the material needs to start, and we got our seven steps. Our first bend right there is a straight, then our second one is the bend, and then three and four is the second straight that we've broken into two parts, then step five is our second bend, and then six and seven is the final straight that we've broken into two parts. And this is to help with the blending because they are different speeds. Now we're going to go ahead and put this in manual so we can send to the main menu. Now we're going to go back to automatic, go to the main menu, access display. Now this is where you see the machine doing its thing, running the program. You can see our program up here, 31915 and then our current step is zero and right now everything is zeroed out the roll positions are all the way down the rotation is zero we're going to go ahead and start the hydraulic unit and we're going to start the program now right now the rolls are coming up to their pinch position 41.7 41.6 now the rolls start rotating you can see the material touch that sensor now right when the material touches it it starts backing up to our programmed retract which is 365 Now our speed setting for the retract is fairly slow so we can get more precise. You can change that during operation during the programming setup. Now we're going up to our first bend, 84.2 for that Z roll. And now it's rotating out doing the bend. Now you're going to see the first half of our second straight with the roll coming down. Now we're on our second part of the second straight. Now we're going into the second bend. Now it's going to roll all the way out to 1593. And then we'll hit the first part of our last and final straight, step six. Now we hit the second part of the last straight on step seven. And that's the end of the program and the rolls drop to our unload position set at zero.